Howdy folks and good morning! How's it going? First of all, first and foremost, thank you so much everybody for all the kind comments about getting well soon and uh, taking it easy and uh, recovering. Yeah, it, it was pretty horrible after getting back from uh, the Bangkok Motor Show, which was actually one of the best motor shows I've been to in a very, very long time. In fact, I, I'll be honest, I, I actually enjoyed it more than the uh, Tokyo Auto Salon, although I love being in Japan. You know, you guys know I love Japan. But uh, I actually enjoyed the show more than, uh, than Tokyo Auto Salon. And that's really saying something because by virtue of the fact that the Tokyo Auto Salon is in Japan, that's already a big plus. Um, maybe it was also because I missed the Bangkok Motor Show for the last three years due to the pandemic. And uh, getting back there was just amazing. And you know, unlike previous times, I didn't, I didn't stay on this time. I actually just went for the show, uh, four days, three nights, and then I flew back. Uh, because you know I didn't want to be too much out in public and then again I've been driving and riding into Bangkok for the uh, sorry into Thailand for the for uh, a few months now in fact thanks to uh, my phone uh, yeah my phone which I which I'm actually recording this on now thanks to my phone which uh, which uh, time and date stamps the uh, photos that I take I was going through my gallery the other day and guess what you're gonna think I'm lying now, but it's actually very, very true, and I couldn't even believe it myself, so I actually had to write it down and send it to myself on a WhatsApp. Yes, you can actually send messages to yourself on a WhatsApp. I mean, talk about next level talking to yourself. You can actually send messages to yourself on WhatsApp. Check it out, I'm not lying, you can. So I, I jotted it all down, and since the border to Thailand had opened last year, 2022, uh, since July of last year, I have been to Thailand every single month since then. Every single month. Uh, you know what? I think I put it in the description because you're not going to believe it. I mean, there were rides to Thailand, there were drives to Thailand, there was uh, there was um, the Waja going to Kanom and and, and um, the uh, the ones to the to Koh Samui and Koh Phangan, the two ten to Koh Phangan. So yeah, lots of lots of drives and rides. But I didn't realize. I've been going every month and now some of you might be wondering hey, how come this guy gets to go to Thailand every month when uh, I can't even go like once a year or maybe I'm, I'm only privileged to go once a year well the thing is it's cheaper to holiday in Thailand than it is in Malaysia yes and that's the sad sad truth I'll give you a, a direct example a basic room in uh, Charating, Kuantan, <laughs> will set you back basic, a very, very basic, uh, nothing included, just a basic room uh, that is possible. I wouldn't even say it's great, it's possible. In Charating, will cost you about 150 to 180 ringgit a night. Yeah. The same, but well, actually, no, not even same, better, a much better room cleaner, more comfortable in a nicer location will set you back less than a hundred ringgit in certain parts of Thailand. It's, it's all a matter of where you go and what you choose to stay at. If you're going to go for five star all the way, then forget it. It's not going to be cheap. But if you're willing to go with very decent to, to um, semi-luxury, and uh, to, to me it's luxury and of course it's all relative. Yeah, yeah. What's luxury to me might be a shithole to you. Uh, what's possible or decent to me might be an absolute sewer for you. But the good thing about um, booking your hotels on, on uh, websites like Booking.com, for example, I love Booking.com. You get to see the uh, the premises, you get to see the actual uh, hotel, you get to see the rooms, you get to see the location, you get to see the surrounding areas. And I have found some absolute gems. I mean, how's this for example, yeah? Beachfront hotel, chalet right on the beach, air conditioning, Wi-Fi, um, kettle, fridge, all the amenities you could possibly want, clean beds, clean sheets, clean towels, nice pillows, all in three nights, three nights, three nights, all in uh, for three nights, less than 250 ringgit. I mean, yeah, no, not for 250 ringgit a night, all three nights for less than 250 ringgit on Koh Samui. Where are you going to get a deal like that in Malaysia? Like, no way, man. No way. So, anyway, 
Uh, thank you again for all the well wishes. Yes, the reason why I'm talking about Thailand is because I'm driving the car that I'm going to Thailand in next. I am driving the Honda Accord right now to Ake's place. Uh, and I'll show you why in a moment, I'll pause. And that's a good thing about uh, shooting on a phone and not the GoPro and I don't have to stitch after that. Um, or I'd rather Chiang stitches for me, thank you Chiang. Uh, is that I can pause the video and uh, continue. Pause the video and continue later, which is, which, is, which is great. Then I can flip the video as well. So right now, if I wanted to show you where I'm at, so I and ta-da, you can see this beautiful day that I'm at. I guess you can tell where I am now. If you've ever been to Ake's place, this is, this is the way I, I used to get there. Uh, via the uh, Subang Airport Road, and then into Arandabansara, and uh, to Ake's place. So, lovely, lovely day. And I'll give you a little pro tip. What I've just done here is actually um, uh, turn in left towards Hyatt Saujana, then use this roundabout. doing so, I can catch the green light. Ta-da! So, yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. That turned yellow. Oh, my bad. Don't ever do that because they, they, they have uh, um, roadblocks here very fre frequently. Sorry, I was paying attention to the camera to see whether you were picking it up. I didn't see it. It, didn't turn, it turned yellow. <coughs> anyway, so, here we are. We are at... Uh, Aradamansara. I'm sure you all know this place very well. This this is a crazy corner here, but I like to I like to kind of flatten it out. Like yeah, baby. Oh, double wishbone suspension. Oh, lovely, lovely. Let me turn right here. So okay. Anyway, let me. Uh, what a beautiful day it is. So let me re backwards to me. Hey, back again. And uh, yeah, so Ake's place is over there. I'm gonna turn right in a little while. And. Uh, that's it. Oh, check this out. Can you see? What's that? The BMW uh, XM? I don't know. But it had the huge grill. Right. So yesterday, I actually put a new player in this car from uh, Procast. Thank you, Ahe and crew. I put a new player in this car. I got a new battery under the bonnet. And just like that, those two things, uh, more than 500 ringgit. Just like that. Yeah, you can spend You can spend lots of money just, just like that on a... On your cars yeah but th this car needed a new player and uh, it needed a new battery because sadly while the battery was disconnected while this car was like sitting in Kenzo and Balakong for a year it uh, the battery couldn't hold power anymore so let me pause here and uh, let me take the car out. let me go outside in a little while to show you why I'm heading to Ake's place back at you in a bit hello little Joe okay folks I've actually stopped uh, at the side of the road here and uh, let me let me go out and show you why I'm here at Ake's place because I spotted this the other day when I was wiping down the car and it troubled me yes this is something that you have to deal with when uh, it comes to old school cars yeah check out this pimple here yep it's a zit and oxy ain't gonna do it it's a rust bubble that's coming up and the paint is actually over here you can't see it but it's actually separated a little bit so he's gonna touch that up and it's not just there it's over here as well. Can you see that? Sorry, a bit shaky because I'm hand holding this. But yeah, this is nasty. Yeah, this is, like, this is what my face looked like when I was in high school. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, two spots that gonna have to be done. But there's the uh, there's the car. Yeah, I can zoom in and out. Oh, can I zoom out more? No, I can't. But uh, yeah, here's the SM4. My lovely, lovely SM4. I, uh, as you know, I absolutely adore this car. Double wishbone suspension front and rear. Handles beautifully, strong, silent, and pretty damn quick for a two liter. Single overhead cam, 16 valve, Honda Power. It's a lovely, lovely car. This is why you see so many of these cars still running around because they're so damn good at best kept secret in town. Honda fanboys, I'm sure they love it. You know they love it because this car has been around for quite some time and it, people still love it. So, okay, that's it. So yeah, wrapping up, that's it. Just wanted to do a very quick update on myself. Thank you again for all the well wishes. I want to do a quick update on the SM4 and my nefarious plans for... Uh, has the light still working? My nefarious plans insofar as driving this car across the border is concerned. Very excited to do that. 
and I'll be doing that soon and you're gonna follow me so not just vicariously via this uh, platform but uh, if you feel like going I'm leaving on the 22nd of May yeah I'm gonna put a I'll put a shout out I'll put a shout out in the uh, community section have a look there and if you want to go let's go I mean if you just want to go up to Songla and come back fine if you want to follow all the way to Kopangan fine if you want to go to Koh Samui fine free and easy yeah so anyway you all take care and I'll talk to you all soon uh, you want to see where LK's place is okay V is turning here this is Saab world check out all the Saabs all the beautiful beautiful Saabs look at that oh it's a 900 there there's a 95 there lovely lovely gorgeous Saabs look at that there's a beautiful red oh look at the bushes look at the bushes Whoa. nice all lovelier one lovelier than the next so yeah that what was I saying there's a beautiful red Saab 900 turbo for sale on Facebook marketplace with the aero wheels already you should guys should go check it out check it out right so we're here and uh, I'll talk to you all soon take care y'all bye